Uh, EVIS is a new source of ions for RIC and the NASA space program. EBIS stands for Electron Beam Ion Source. What we've built is a, a new pre-injector, which has an electron beam ion source as the front end of this pre-injector, and it's followed by two small accelerators, which take the beam up to the, the energy that we need. This new pre-injector, which uses this electron beam ion source, the EBIS, will be more modern, easy to operate, and gives us more flexibility. We essentially can provide any beam species. So in the case of a gold atom, gold has 79 electrons, and outside of EBIS we take one electron off of the gold atom. We produce gold with a charge of one, we knock off one electron, we send it into the EBIS trap, and once it's in the trap, we hold it in there, the electron beam passes through this trap region and continues to knock electrons off of the gold atom, so that in our case we will keep the gold ions in the trap until we've knocked off 32 electrons. So you end up with a, with a charge of 32 on the gold atom, gold ion. Then you extract the, extract the beam, you let the beam out of the trap, and it comes out in a short pulse, which then you accelerate through the um, two short accelerators that we have after the EBIS source. There are some beams that EBIS can provide that Rick is interested in that the tandems cannot provide. And there's also some beams that we can get from EBIS that NASA is interested in. So, for instance, for RIC, they're interested in running uranium beams rather than gold because the uranium, the, the nucleus of a uranium atom is football-shaped rather than, than, a, than round like a, gold, like a gold atom is. So when you're combining, com colliding two uranium ions, you have a chance of the two footballs hitting each other end-to-end. -end and you can get a higher density in the collision than what you can get when you collide gold ions. So there's an interest in a, in a beam such as uranium, which we can't get now from tandems, but we will be able to provide with EBIS. Just to give you some idea of the amount of uranium that is in the beam, one part per million of normal soil is uranium. So if you take just a small handful of soil, the amount of uranium in that handful of soil is much uranium as we would accelerate in RIC in a year. So it's a very small quantity of uranium that's in the beam in RIC. There are several new ions that EBIS can produce that are of interest to NASA, such as helium, neon, argon, which are common in, in galactic cosmic rays and cannot be produced at the tandems. So this fall, we'll start to provide several beams to NASA, and in the winter or spring, we'll start to provide gold and possibly uranium to, to Rick.